good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Donia Dumioti from Egypt, and this is my first Wikimania. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Um, I'm from Egyptian Wikimedia user group. I'm the communication uh, office uh, now. And um, I'd like to shed light on how the idea came in my mind, the idea of this panel discussion. Uh, I joined Wikimedia in 2019, and at this time, I find that um, the, my user group is not active as much as I um, um, watched some of the previous events from them. And um, in the time I joined, there was like uh, totally online events, just totally online events, and I cannot know who I I should contact with and uh, who are the board of the user group, what are what were the problems of this group, and it took me time to understand the issues the user group had and to understand um, how it was and uh, the issues or the difficulties or challenges that we have at the time and also took us time to like uh, reshape or rebuild the user group. You know, e Egyptian Wikimedia user group uh, was uh, one of the um, main uh, leading user groups of the education programs in the MENA region. So it has already many activities, uh, but we have like um, many obstacles. And this is what um, uh, gave me an idea to like share experience of other user groups, how they had difficulties and how they uh, like um, um, faced them and then uh, managed to rebuild the user group again. We have now um, uh, three uh, online guests and Ali. We have four, um, four uh, stories from four user groups. Iraq user group, Egyptian Wikimedia user group, Namibia and Botswana. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all guests that they are, um, they are with us now. And uh, I will start by uh, Ali. Can you please introduce yourself and your user group and uh, specifically your role in the user group now? Um, hello, everyone. It's great to have you all here and uh, for this important topic, especially for the user groups that are suffering from gap years. Uh, so I'm Ali. I'm a general co coordinator for the Iraqi Wikimedians. Uh, I joined the Wikimedia Foundation or the movement uh, in the, during COVID. And uh, at that time, there was no contributors in the Iraqi Wikimedians while in the, in the past year it was so active. So I had uh, very, uh, a lot of difficulties to explore the uh, movement, to the, the projects, and how we can contribute. And especially in the, uh, a country with uh, more than 40 million people, it's important to have an active user group at least, so uh, everyone in the country can reach out and uh, find the ways to volunteer within Wikimedia movement. Thank you, Ali. Happy to have you here. And next, we will go for, with Candy. Candy, I'm happy that you could join us. Uh, can you introduce yourself, please, and your role in the user group now? Uh, thank you so much, Donia. Um, my name is Candy Trisha Kotliwe. I'm from the Wikimedia Community User Group Botswana, and I'm the co-founder for the user group as well. Yes, so that's my intro. Thank you. And uh, Martin? <laughs> Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Um, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Donia. Uh, my name is Martin Hipangwa from Wikimedia Community User Group Namibia. I also started contributing uh, in 2020 during COVID-19, and currently I'm the co-founder of the of the of the user group. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And finally, Ibrahim, uh, you're the last one, so that no one can say that I'm biased for the Egyptian user. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> okay. Hello, uh, my name is Ibrahim Laidi. Um, I'm the executive manager and uh, a board member of Egypt Wikimedian User Group. Um, our user group uh, was created in uh, 2014. Um, we uh, we cover uh, our user group covers all Wikimedia activities in Egypt, uh, and uh, we apply for all funds, uh, rabbit funds, uh, all projects like uh, BEG. Um, but uh, you know, 
the <laughs> what is happening later. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, as I said, um, what we mean by gap years here, you will hear uh, previous um, previous stories and different ones. Maybe the gap years um, not just. Uh, stopping the activity, but maybe like changing the type of activities, or maybe suffering to get recognition, or maybe uh, become de-recognized, as we will hear from our guest. So, uh, I will start with you, Ali. Um, what was the problem with Iraq user group specifically? Uh, what, um, what were the gap years that you experienced in your user group? Um, the first time I joined the user group, or I started with the movement to explore the projects, I found that the user group is, is not active, so I was looking for the people behind the user group. I was reaching out to the social media accounts, the Facebook page, just to ask them like, if there's anyone here to help me, to, to advise me how to start my journey with the movement. So there was, there was no one like uh, responding for my questions. So, and then I started to join the Arabic community, the whole Arabic community. So from that, I learned that there's a, a very uh, diverse group of people from different Arabic com countries. So, and uh, from this group, I learned, uh, like uh, I, I get to know more people to advise me to start with the, uh, with the volunteering with the, uh, within the wiki projects. So uh, after that, I tried to find uh, who are the Iraqi user groups, uh, who are behind this group. So I finally found the people. Uh, I start to reach them out to um, just to open discussion why this group is not active, to understand our past and what is the what is the situation now, and what we can do for the future? And luckily, there was many people, but uh, I think there there were uh, they were so busy with the life and uh, family and this stuff, so they they haven't much time to contribute uh, on wiki projects. So then, uh, just we make uh, we did um, like a group meeting just to understand uh, how that happened, what we can do for the future, since. We, we like uh, not just me like who joined the uh, wiki, the Iraqi Wikimedians uh, at that time. It was me, my mother, and also uh, some friends from Iraq. So we told them, okay, uh, now there is a new generation is coming for wiki projects. What we can do? How we can to revive the uh, user group? And from that, they just advised us on some stuff, that, and we changed the. Uh, the hierarchy of the user group, we uh, change the people, so we can start from the beginning to advertise for Iraqi Wikimedians, and uh, we start a new projects within uh, our country and uh, the regions uh, in Iraq. So this is a quick uh, brief about the story behind the gap year of the user group. Yeah, I, I, I remember when I joined, um, I saw many events of Iraq user group, mm past events, and recently I um, read more about your activities, current activities. So how many years uh, the, maybe you have challenges or the user group um, like listen its activities? I think it was like around three to four years. Uh, I mean, our, our user group started on 2015, but uh, it works for only four years. And I think during COVID, the, the gap years uh, happened. And then um, there was, I, I mean, during COVID, there were more people to explore the online uh, activities and what they can do, like uh, someone like me. So um, th there were more people to join the uh, movement during COVID. So um, we decided to reach out to Iraqi Wikimedians to see how to revive the group. So yeah, it was almost uh, around from 2020 to 2023. Mm -hmm. So we just this year get back to our activities uh, with the support of Wikimedia Foundations and uh, some people from the management. They helped us and uh, they advised us how to, um, like how to rebuild our user group. They support our activities and now we had uh, the first uh, online, uh, the first uh, on-site activity from a while, uh, just uh, two weeks ago, 
for the um, Arabic Wikipedia day. We did it on, uh, offline, and it was the, and we found there is a lot of people that want to know more about uh, Wikipedia, and they didn't know there is uh, an, uh, a community for wiki projects in Iraq. So yeah. Okay. Uh, turning to you, Martin. Uh, you said to me that you recently, as a Wikimedia Namibia user group, uh, get recognition. So congratulations. And uh, yeah, congratulations about that. But I think it's, uh, it took you as a user group much year, many years to be recognized. So briefly um, talk to us about the challenges you had and how you um, like how many years and um, the obstacles you you had to get the recognition all right thank you very much and uh, thank you for the congratulatory words uh, yes we got the recognition uh, this this year uh, early May um, and yeah as I said I started in 2020 in 2020 I'm a librarian by profession so uh, I started with one librarian, one reference uh, uh, campaign uh, that is organized by Afria, uh, Afria uh, every year in May. So from there, that is when I decided I, I started now looking into uh, the Wikipedia, different communities, different affiliates, different countries with different affiliates, and also started now uh, 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 searching for people in Namibia that uh, that work on Wikipedia, the volunteers or the community of volunteers in Namibia. I had tried to search since 2020. I got hold of some in 2021, uh, but they are not really, uh, they are not really willing to be in the community as per se. They are more, more on the technical side of staffs and not necessarily the advocacy side of staffs. So it was a bit challenging and um, I have resorted now to uh, uh, advocate through uh, libraries or through uh, information professionals to share the, 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 the to share to share this uh, news about Wikipedia and all that. And you know, when you are sharing this news about Wikipedia, people have preconceived ideas already to say, it's something that you cannot use or it's something that I cannot associate with because of um, because of what people say, it's not free, it's not trustable and all that. So it, it was a bit of retaliation and, um, and, and a bit of uh, discomfort as well. So our first event, uh, uh, was uh, our first awareness event um, like that started our work was in June 2022. That's when we then started our work with the support of Wikimedia Foundation and also with the support of different um, of different colleagues that I met through uh, the Wiki in Daba that I attended in uh, 2021. So from there, I built up connections. And then after that, then I started. So some of the challenges, just to run on quickly, um, really some of the challenges on our follow-up is that uh, the, 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 the Namibia is, is such a big country, but then uh, it has a few population. We are very few. We are like 3.1 million currently. And then um, it, as it stands, uh, the, 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 the seasoned, uh, seasoned Wikimedian, uh, in Namibia, they couldn't really get people. They couldn't really get people that would, they didn't get volunteers that would stay and, uh, to, 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 to actually contribute to Wikipedia and its sister projects. And, um, and as such, they couldn't form a group and, uh, they couldn't form a user group. Okay. Internet connections. We all know internet connections, especially in Africa. Yeah. I'm 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 sorry. I'm sorry about that. I think my internet connection just oh. my internet connection just tripped. But I was um just to Never sum mind. this yeah. 
just to sum this up on the challenges, one one thing about um, one one challenge was language barrier and getting indigenous people to translate in local languages for easy documentation of these languages. Currently, we only have English in Namibia, which is our official language, but then there are also other um, other other like other languages, other local languages or vernaculars that uh, we need to translate and then translate so that we so that uh, information can be available in all local languages but then uh, there is language also oh, they have internet challenges mm -hmm. okay yeah and I'm sorry about that, but um, I don't know what is happening. They always say these yeah. things happen every time when you are when you are when you are presenting. No, uh, but then uh, the other thing, the other challenge is the lack of uh, interest and in institutional cultures. Um, uh, the lack of interest from the people and also the institutional culture didn't manage. Uh, did uh, these are some of the challenges that hindered the materialization of a user group. And also uh, lack of resources as well, and I think uh, that uh, and also um, uh, resources for people to contribute uh, to this uh, to, to 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 volunteering in Wikipedia. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Martin. So you you mentioned many challenges, but I think you you already um, forced many of them. I managed to uh, like uh, handle many of them so that you get recognition. Uh, now for the Candy story, I know Candy that your user group Botswana became de recognized after the recognition. So it will be maybe a different story with different challenges. So please share that uh, with, with us. Uh, thank you, um, Donia. Um, for us, it's a very interesting story. It was mostly uh, how I started my journey joining the wiki uh movement so it all started when i was in university and i was the second runner up for an editathon that was it's on a wikipedia um that was around 2013 2014 and after that i was invited to week in Daba where i got um introduced to the community the, um the first week in Daba in south africa I think from there there was a lack of understand uh, understanding like what the what the community is all about what a user group is. So with that being said, me finishing school around that time frame, they, I had lack of resources and well they were we didn't understand and then there were lack of resources kind of like carrying this um, movement through and actually starting it because. My school was a place where I was getting access to internet. So me kind of like, let's say, being unemployed at the time and um, just transitioning to be job hunting, let's say, for instance, it was a really big transition where the, that gap year um, happened. Um, also, within that time frame as well, I had colleagues who were leading this um, so they were at the forefront and I was kind of like in the behind the scenes being inactive. Um, fast forward to 2019, where I got um, re-engaged to the community again. I went to Wikindaba, which was in um, Nigeria, where I got to reconnect with the community again. And 2020, somewhere there, um, met Isla in Florence as well, did my first um, event. So that was kind of like change of leadership because the old um, leaders kind of like transitioned to other opportunities. They moved away from there. So that is how I think lack of um, maybe resources and also transitioning from um, school to just that. That's how things happened. So me doing that first um, activity back then in 2020, early 2020, somewhere there, um, kind of like helped with me kind of like picking up the momentum and rebuilding the community to what it is today. So yeah, that's a nutshell of <laughs> my journey so far. Yeah. Um, when when you said uh, university, it, re it reminded me with my story because I joined Wiki also at uh, my university. Um, but maybe um, 
for, to, to listen to the story from the Egyptian Wikimedian user group would be better to listen it from an older user who is Ibrahim. So um, Ibrahim briefly um, um, talks to us about the challenges we had as a user group and uh, how many years um, and how um, much efforts it took us because I know you're uh, really involved in solving this. So um, I'd be happy to listen. Your mic is, uh, you're unmuted. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dania. Um, as I explained before, uh, we successfully applied for uh, funds. Uh, we also did a lot of uh, uh, activities, workshops, uh, programs. We held uh, conferences. Um, our user group between uh, 2014 and uh, 2018 uh, was in good standing. But in 2019, we stopped receiving any funds from uh, the foundation because some issues uh, related to our country is laws, um, new rules and uh, restrictions uh, related to uh, non-governmental uh, works. Uh, where's it? Um, so uh, the legal team uh, of uh, Wikimedia Foundation uh, recommended uh, to stop sending any grants to Egypt um, for the safety of volunteer and avoid any problems. And this is uh, uh, our uh, problem. Uh, we, uh, of course, we, uh, without funds, we, uh, our activities, um, we, we didn't do any activities in the last years uh, between uh, 2019 to 2020. Uh, for. Yeah, thanks, Ibrahim. Um, and that was a long journey uh, with many emails and many connections to, to solve those. And as a foundation uh, is, um, is available to serve us as a community, so I will ask all the guests to just um, like mention a word or a brief sentence about how the foundation solved their problems, just briefly. So Ali, start. <laughs> it's really difficult because uh, I'm, I think uh, having a people from the Arab community inside the Wikimedia Foundation, it's really important so they can understand what we are uh, suffering from. So that was really helpful and I don't have a specific words, but uh, uh, they they were always there when we needed any support, and especially uh, the people who knows about our communities and how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't have honestly a specific words, just this to say. Okay, and uh, what about you, Martin? If uh, just uh, like um, credit for um, um, some sort of help from the foundation to be recognized as a user group. Um, yes, I would say I have uh, I have gotten much support from the colleague within the community, within the African community, and also the international community, as we say, and from the foundation itself, because it's uh, the the resources we got from the monetary resources we got from the foundation helped us to be where we are, to run the um, to be able to run the activities, and to be able to uh, deliver on these projects, and um, yeah, I. I I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm not so sure if, uh, if, 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 like, I would be where I will be without the, without the colleague from the chapter, uh, from this uh, Wikimedia South Africa, and also uh, uh, colleagues, uh, um, colleagues that helped in uh, in setting up this. Thanks, Martin. And you, Candy. Um... I know it, it, you, you still have a long journey to, to bathroom, uh, but tell now uh, what type of support that you want to um, credit or uh, you want to, uh, uh, to have from the foundation, specifically in your user group? Yes, um, what support we would like to have or what credit would I like to give to the foundation? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I would say we received massive um, help from the foundation in terms of resources. Um, ever since we got um, funding from there, it kind of like built momentum. There was consistent um, projects that we were holding. Um, so there wasn't kind of like the, the a kind of like inconsistency in the projects that we were building. And you'd find, yes, most of the people that are part of my community, they are um, youth that are out of school. So that helps with us kind of like also being able to support them. So because I understand the, the position that and I was once there. Um, so having that funding to kind of like gain traction um, and build that kind of community and build the momentum to keep on going. It's priceless. Um, and also the Let's Connect um, a program such as that, the, um, the clinic is very helpful to kind of like get um, our challenges or um, ideas that we may have to kind of like bounce ideas with, with WMF. And also, yes, um, our African colleagues, other user groups, they've been priceless. Um, programs like um, Wikilabs Women as well. The focus group has been um, an, an amazing platform to kind of like build and mentor and coach women to be um um, leading champions in their countries, which is really amazing. Um, yes, I would say it's it, it, we have like enormous. We have strengthened um, our our partnerships and 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 relationships with other communities, which is amazing. Ever since rebuilding the community, so it's 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 a journey, and we're still working towards. Um, yeah, yeah we build. still have more. <laughs> what about you, Brahim? Uh, okay, um, uh, our, our problem, we were talking about our problem um, uh, is uh, solved uh, by communicating uh, with uh, our uh, foundation staff. Um, we contact uh, Farida Igretli. She she is working um, in Wikimedia as a partnerships uh, consultant in MENA region. And she was able to communicate uh, with the legal team and the resources team. Um, we did a lot of uh, meeting a lot of uh, works uh, in user group uh, like organizing the user group and do all uh, uh, paperwork all uh, all these things uh, also we contact uh, um, a foundation in our country to represent uh, to give us uh, um, a legal sponsor and fiscal sponsor so after that uh, we uh, to, uh, contact with uh, the legal team to um, apply for uh, annual grant uh, with a fiscal sponsor, um, they uh, agreed and we submitted our application uh, this year. And later, uh, the grant uh, committee approved our application with full funding. Um, we hope uh, we hope uh, we uh, to uh, impl implement uh, the annual uh, plan this year and achieve uh, um, the best results uh, for the uh, group um, during this year. Thank you. Thanks, Ibrahim. Um, uh, Candy, you, you you already mentioned that uh, it took you many years and you already um, need to pass through other years to overcome all challenges, but um, what are the like um, experience you have through all these uh, challenges? What the experience you may want to to get to others have uh, maybe similar problems, similar uh, challenges, and um, may need your advice. Um, I would say it pretty much it has helped us to kind of like reflect. Pretty, um, to kind of like look back and say, okay, fine, this is where we're going wrong and improve. So as I said, yes, it's a journey for sure. Um, it, although we have stumbling blocks, it, it helps us to reflect better and improve ourselves and be strategic and see how we can go forward, well, build more partnerships and learn from other communities. I think it, 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 it helps us to, yeah, to 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 be more um, exposed rather than just um, um, thinking that we're doing everything right. Um, so it, it kind of like gets us out of our comfort zone to to really reflect and know how we can actually navigate and grow as a community. So yeah, I'll say that mostly. 
Yeah, thanks, Candy. And what about you, Martin, for the experience to suffer to get the recognition? What are the recommendations or the experience you want to share with others? I think I think the 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 recommendation that I want to say or or, or the experiences that I have is that um, as a as a as a user group or as a community leader, you must have a mission and you must have a vision that you really what you really want to achieve in terms of uh, aligning that with the uh, foundation um, foundation strategy and also the movement strategy that we currently have, uh, so that you keep to your mission and you keep to your vision you keep to what you want to achieve for the community and what you want to achieve in terms of um in terms of building that community to uh to have impact for projects that uh, actually impact the the community so i think that really helped me and also like not having the recognition actually pushed me and it gave me courage and energy um, just to uh, go into the community and build up the community, have conversations, have engagements with uh, different stakeholders, have, um, have a shared understanding with the, with, 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 the uh, with, with colleagues within the community on how are we going to grow, how we're going to manage our resources and how are we going to go forward. At the end of the day, it's building the people. Uh, it's not just about building the, uh, the the community, like getting the affiliation, but it's really building the people to have that sustainable future of Wikipedia or 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 or, 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 or for the foundation to have people that can still contribute, even um, contribute consistently without any 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 doubt. So yeah, those are the those those are the experiences or lessons that I have drawn from my um, from my undertaking when I was uh, founding the community. And also, there are strumming blocks that will come along your way. Uh, Redder people inside that you would say uh, that is not worth it, or we don't want the community, or, or something like that. Uh, you don't have to listen to that. You have to filter, see which one are you going to go forth with, and which one are you leaving behind. So, yeah. With that said, I think uh, those are my takeaways, my key takeaways uh, from building the community. Thanks, Martin. I use your word, sustainable user group, and then return back to Ibrahim because Ibrahim, you are an older user and you witnessed the foundation of the, uh, the, the Egyptian Wikimedian user group at the past, and then you witnessed the renewal or the re, um, rebuilding of the user group. So about um, uh, for this experience, how you um, like advise others to uh, to uh, like um, uh, not to experience the same gap years, but to uh, provide sustainable user group to keep the sustainability for the user group. What do you ex uh, um, what what are your recommendations to to uh, provide sustainability for the user group? Okay. Um, um if we were talking about the sens uh, sensibility of uh, the user group, um, um, uh, f first, uh, first thing, uh, first important thing, uh, you should focus on the uh, volunteers uh, and users because uh, we uh, we uh, uh, we need uh, a lot of um, uh, what I say, uh, human sources. Um, we need um, uh, people uh, we uh, we to work uh, in in many different. Uh, uh, where, jobs um uh, also uh, this is um many things uh, you should uh, focus on uh, the user group uh, because um you know the volunteering work um is actually uh, not sustained uh, because uh, some uh, you know uh, some volunteers uh, stopped uh, in any time uh, you know um uh, act also, uh, they uh, work, uh, work, paid work. Uh, they also uh, st maybe stop works in any time. So uh, I, I think uh, the, the important thing you should uh, focus on uh, 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 enlarge your uh, base, uh, users, enlarge your um, in volunteers. Uh, this is an important uh, point we should focus on.
Thank you. Thank you, Ibrahim. I, I just uh, agree with the, with Ibrahim. Like the the more human resources we have in within user groups, the more sustainability we can achieve. Because uh, um, for for the Iraqi user group, we, they were only a few people, like uh, less than five maybe. So when everyone had the responsibilities in life, they left volunteering. So now nobody um, are contributing within the Iraqi comedians. Uh, for the gap years uh, I'm mentioning. But when we have more people, so when, when a part of the group has a responsibilities, the other part can take the lead and can uh, save the sustainability of the user group. And about your experience, um, you're quite different uh, uh, from Ibrahim because you, you already joined the user group. Um, recently or after the um, uh, the period of in place the of activities, of the gap year. yeah, <laughs> in the middle of gap year. So, uh, took you time to to understand the process, how what what is the user group and uh, wh whom I can connect with. So, um, if someone has the same experience or joined the for the first time, how how will you advise or? Yeah, I mean, it's really difficult when you don't find anyone from your country, maybe, to uh, uh, to describe the, the whole thing for you. But one main thing that I can maybe advise myself, my older self, uh, is to um, don't waste time to find the, the things and explore the uh, uh, all the things and how it works, but to reach out to maybe to the foundation, to different teams, to ask them about how to overcome the, um, the the issue within the group, or ask them about how to leading the group. Because uh, I'm sure, like we will find an answer at the end from the foundation without taking a lot of time by searching ourselves and find the the correct. Uh, um, uh, ways to lead the user group. So I personally, I I spend a lot of time, but then when I reached out to the foundation, I, f I found that a lot of people are faced the same issues and uh, there is uh, already a success stories that we can follow. So this is important to uh, reach out directly to the foundation and find solutions and uh, also joining the Let's Connect maybe sessions uh, to uh, connect with other communities and uh, explore uh, new ideas and new ways to um, to our local community. Thank you so much, Hadi. Uh, now, um, for our guests, if you have any point that you want to mention, and then we will have uh, 10 minutes for questions if anyone have a question for the guest. So, uh, do any of you have uh, any points that want to raise? Okay. I just want to add to Ibrahim um, uh, uh, human resources. They say uh, um, many times uh, we talked about human resources and forget about the human part, the human word in it. We only know about the resources when you're talking about human resources. So our volunteers come first and our users come first and we should not uh, we should we, we, we shouldn't really uh, give them the burnout and all that because for the sake of the sustainability of our user groups, we should treat them as human as well and uh, not just as resources to finish our projects. Thank you. Thank you so much, Martin. And now, if anyone have any point to raise, question for the guests, uh, maybe you have similar stories that want to uh, raise, um, we still have time. Okay. What's your name, please? Just open it. Uh, uh, no, no. Okay, perfect. So uh, my name is Joshua. I am from Ecuador, and uh, I uh, I really like it how you shared all your experiences because uh, this is a common issue around the world, especially from the pandemic, that a lot of activities had to uh, go completely offline. And uh, yeah, for example, the user group in Ecuador uh, lost this status also during the pandemic, and uh, it was a little bit of a pity because uh, actually. After we finished uh, all the, after we paused all the 
online activities. Actually, we started a sub, a sub team of volunteers. We started to do full offline activities. What do I mean by full offline activities? There is a project we started, and maybe you guys would be very interested on and in checking it out. It's called offlinepedia. Uh, you can Google it offlinepedia.org. And basically, what we do is to collect uh, old PCs and make some Frankenstein out of wood, out of uh, old PCs, and build uh, uh, computers with less uh, less than one. Hundred dollars, like one hundred euros, and donate them into the rural communities with uh, fully working offline versions of Wikipedia. Uh, we did a lot of activities on on uh, on, on such fields, but uh, still uh, there was this uh, issue of, as you mentioned, uh, getting the volunteers to stay within us. So I would like to maybe uh, ask for you to share some tips on how can we. Uh, uh, how, how did you manage to get more volunteers involved into the into the into the activities that the community is doing? Because this is one of the things that we struggle the most, uh, trying to uh, reach out for more people. And uh, of course, we know that volunteers are not permanent, but uh, still, we have the issue of having uh, volunteers at all. Uh, one 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 example is that uh, we we are two Ecuadorian Wikimedians here, me uh, and other colleague Fred, and ironically. We both do not live in Ecuador anymore, but are, we are the, uh, one of the most active uh, uh, community members of it, trying to trying to raise the awareness of the Wikipedia project within the Ecuadorian community. So I would love to hear some tips from you of how how to get engagement around uh, new volunteers. Thank you. Uh, how the, from the guests want to share? How you want to share some tips to? Um, uh, like recommendation, how could you uh, uh, engage more people for your community? Uh, I may start, yes. Um, uh, let's agree on something that uh, not everyone can be a, a Wikipedian or Wikimedian, uh, but it depends then on the group that you are focusing on. So if you are focused on um, uh, college students, then you have to set uh, a, a set of activities for them. So it, it, it should be related maybe to their uh, field and the college. Or if you are focusing on the um, public people, maybe you can uh, attract them by giving certificates and uh, do some activities that are um, can keep them uh, in the, within the user group. So it, it depends on the, uh, on the community that you are focusing on. Uh, but in general, there is a lot of, uh, uh, like you have to study the community that you are uh, targeting. And then if they are students, I do some wiki clubs maybe in the, within the universities. If they are public people, uh, I, I doing some, uh, maybe also we are in Iraq now, we are doing online sessions and we see that a lot of people, not from the capital, are joining us from different cities. And they are, uh, th they don't look for the, look, the, the people within the capital, because the, the life is uh, moving too fast uh, in the crowded areas, so they want an uh, immediate uh, results. But for the people, are they, they have more time maybe in other cities. They don't have a lot of responsibilities. They are joining uh, us more from the uh, more than the capital itself. So uh, people uh, from the other cities are enjoying the online sessions. Uh, they are happy to to contribute within a, a global movement on the internet with from the online sessions. So not everyone knows about the online sessions that are led by uh, other Wikimedians. But you are from you are w within your country. You know how to target those people and how to reach them out. So yeah, this is my uh, comment. Yeah, thanks, Sally. Uh, anyone else? Yago. Hi, my name is Masaki Murakami from Japan, and. In Japan, many numbers of uh, Wikipedia editors, but almost all of them uh, are not a Wikimedia. Uh, their um, concern or interest only editing Wikipedia articles, but not movement and not, not interest. Uh, and Japan user group had established last year and and foundations uh, affiliate and and this year I held uh, two times of uh, open source software uh, event 
to join and 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 introduce to Wikidata and uh, other project and the Wikimedia movement. And they are uh, con and they are installed in Wikidata at it as a uh, IT engineer or open source software developer. Uh, we and uh, uh, we want to. Uh, so you are tr trying to attract people oh. from Wikipedia to other projects? Um, yes, yes. And do you have a problem with this uh, point? Like they are not moving from, they are stuck only on Wikipedia, right? Okay. So I think here it, it depends on the, uh, maybe Hassam can add on this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah go, go ahead. Uh, answer him or? Jeff yeah, 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 answer him. If you have an answer. Uh, you have another question? You, you, yeah, I have you another question, actually. Oh, so, no, no, you, we, so we thought that... I, I thought you, you, you have an answer for... Yeah, I can answer, actually. Okay, uh, just... Uh, <laughs> it's just uh, I share uh, knowledge here, so everyone can uh, answer yeah. or ask. Actually, actually uh, Wikimedia for years has been interested in uh, kind of building its trademark around Wikipedia. There was even a branded project about changing all the names of the projects as a whole into Wikipedia something, like Wikidata into Wikipedia data, for example. Uh, and that was actually uh, a pity because this marginalized a lot the other projects. There is something that I actually tried to add, uh, ask a question in this context. There is actually something that many people in chapters, not user groups, do a lot. It is using the, cent the central banner lotus. Central what? The central banner lotus, the banner that is uh, that is shown in the f in the in the pages of Wikipedia, just uh, as the header. And actually, they can advertise anything, and it's free uh, because it's on, on Wikipedia. Actually. Wikimedia France and many other chapters did something in this context, but the Global South is not aware about such an alternative. Uh, as well, for example, in Wikimedia Tunisia, I'm from Wikimedia Tunisia, uh, we tried actually uh, to gather people around other projects, for example, Wikimedia Commons because Wikimedia Commons is the simplest project to contribute because it is just about taking pictures and anyone ha who has the gift of, of taking not very nice pictures can contribute there. But actually, we use the brand of Wikipedia to, let, to bring people contribute to Commons. And they write something. But this did not work. Actually, there are a lot of people co that uh, who uh, participate in contests like Wikilove's Monuments. But after that, they contribute a lot, a lot, a lot of photos. And then later, no one will create an article about it. Even if we try to uh, use this opportunity, because there is money and t to, to urge people to write an article about wha what they photographed. But th this did work. So actually, it I is think a this is because the audience are different. Yes. I think, yeah, the audience for commons is totally different from the yes. Wikipedia, you know? Yes, so, so the, the essence of, of all this experience is that if you need to do something, you need to build on its own. There is nothing about uh, trying to, to do something with Wikipedia and then use it to actually uh, to increment the success and, uh, and actually attract people to contribute to other stuff. Yeah, if, you, if you want uh, to build a community on a specific project, just work with the people who are actually the, have the traits to contribute to this project. Yeah, um, thank you, thank okay. you, Hassan. Another uh, last moment, for, uh, last comment from Ale. Okay. Yeah. And just, uh, yeah, yeah. Just uh, the last okay, minute. Okay, so okay, I. Uh, okay. I want to add some points related to the question here and the comment of Hussam that uh, of course we agree with each other that Wikipedia is the largest project mm. 
largest Wikimedia project. So of course, uh, all of uh, newcomers or all of the new editors will go to, to Wikipedia. It's the largest one. This is the uh, first important point, and also it's related to the common sense related to edit count that people are, uh, some people take it like a competition that my edit count is increased. So in Arabic Wikipedia, for example, what we are doing, uh, maybe it's kind of force uh, that, for example, all info boxes in Arabic Wikipedia articles uh, can be filled manually, but uh, it's easier to, to fill it from Wikidata. So, so all of users, for example, if you create a new article about any new personnel, for example, you only fill the data in Wikidata, his name, date of birth, nationality, occupation, any things of that, then it will be imported automatically in Arabic Wikipedia article. This is the first point. Also, we told people to attract them that you can increase your edit count in Wikidata easily by every click easier than Wikipedia, this one of the point. Also, now, since a few months, people working in Arabic Wikipedia to import references also from Wikidata. So if you will use a book or a research as your reference in an article, you create a Wikidata item about it, fill, for example, the name of the research, the volume of the journal, name of it, the editor, things like that, and you can import it directly to the Arabic Wikimedia article. And related to Wikimedia Commons, for example, some uh, user group in uh, the Arabic region uh, ask people if you wanted to upload images in Wiki Love Moments, for, for example, or Wiki Love Earth, uh, you should, you should, or you must create an article about it, even in Arabic Wikipedia or other region. Uh, I heard about that in the Wikimedia Levant user group, for example. Thank you so much, Hala, and thank you for all uh, your you inputs. Um, um, I, we are running of time now, uh, so we, we can't uh, accept m more comments. But um, I'm, I, I know some, y the questions may be um, um, out of the topic, but it's related to the sustainability of the user group, which all our guests suffered from unsustainable ones. So I'm um, very happy for uh, you, that you are joining the uh, this panel discussion, and I want to thank you all the guests. You you, you want to add something? Alec? No, no, not really. Okay. But we are uh, here around if you have any questions. So. Yeah, we are still in, the, in this hall. Thank you so much, and thanks for our guests. Thanks, Ibrahim. Thanks, Martin. And I know Candy had a sharp time, so she left us. Thank you so much. Thank you.